Okay. Now, how was that? Cool. That was a challenge. Don't get me wrong. You're sweating? How was it? So like, no, seriously, how was it? Like, what was the challenge? What was the challenge? Yeah, no problem following me because you're not, I'm not trying to get you guys to remember the pattern. I'm trying to get you guys to get into the flow of the motion. How are you repetitive with the action? How, how much did you start to feel a natural swing with the body because you got used to the rhythm? Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah. yeah, that was good. The yeah. hands weren't always That's in fine. sync. Don't you know, worry, don't worry. Just kind of the in and out and the back and that was side to side. Excellent. You just kind of go over the face. What face? Yeah, natural motion. So I don't know if you guys were catching that, right? So when you went here and you kind of step to the left, it's just like you're walking, but oh, you know, I want to go over. Oh. It's kind of that thing, you're putting your weight into a side and it frees up this other foot so you can decide to do something else with it. So this is just reinforcing natural things that you do, but this is a broken down fashion. Again, it's reinforcing the principle. You know what I mean? So that's, that's what you're really trying to get yourself, get out of this more so than trying to, you know, I don't want you to think that I don't want you to learn the movements of the form. But I want you to first connect with the way to move because then that, that will lead more into a more relaxed state of action. So we start to feel, okay, if I'm going to turn left, oh, I'm already on the left, let the hand then follow that motion, as opposed to trying to keep everything into like a paint by numbers. Number one, move the foot, number two, move here. Follow the natural flow of the body, and you'll start to see there's a rhythm to it already. You know what I mean? And just try to connect that rhythm with your own attributes. All right, anyone else? That's good. So, question, when, when you're going to side to side with the hand movements, generally, whatever movement you're if you're, if you're going whatever knee, what direction, that hand is in the higher position, right? No. Okay, so this is that exactly. So here's one. This leg is forward. This is called brushing and push, right? What this does, this, this actually means that I'm actually going to protect my knee if I go forward, brushing anything that may be in that proximity. So in this case, it's not the higher hand. So the back hand is actually the lead hand or whatever, right? So how far are you one more time, Matt? I'm gonna use Matt like a like a rope. <laughs> so how far are you on for a second? Go this way, this way, this way, this way, my shoulder. So brushing a push could be something where I'm like, I'm trying to move something out of the way, and I'm about to pull this. Like such. You see what I mean? So now that action came from here. Alright? So come here again, Matt. Alright? So um come far are you far you George for a second? Just kind of angle. So imagine if this was some kind of railing. Can you come back here for me, sir? Um, and just put the rail, so like right here, and it's like in my way or doorway. So the first thing push is like getting that out of the way so I can bring this into position. So the visualization or the motion that you're doing is, is the what your intent may be. So in this case, I'm intending to use this hand, but I have to use this hand first to kind of move whatever's out of the way, if you will. So it's all about intent, thank you guys. Okay. As opposed to like, okay, this one always has to be up here. No, if you need to use it up here, or what if you need to move, use it down here. You know what I mean? Or vice versa. You know what I mean? So that's employed now the freedom of thought. How do I need to, uh, how do I intend to use this principle? And that's what I was saying to you guys before. The principles are there, and this form is based off someone else's principles of how they want to use those. And I got another form that I do just called Sun Sal, which demonstrate where it's totally different, where the footwork is very small and compact things like that of the nature. It's totally different than the big open motion of a, uh, of a different guy who developed this form of Tai Chi. They thought differently because they had different experiences, but they are applying the same principle. Ward off, roll back. This one is very tight like this. That's the pattern you guys just learned, but just in a different form called Sun Style. All right, so that's the way they use it. It's totally different, but the principles are the same. I go forward, I roll back, like dropping my weight back, then I step forward, I shift my weight, but then I bring the whole body forward. This guy was a smaller person. This guy here was like about 300 pounds, but he could step forward and be open and have the kind of same kind of effect as a person who has to bring all of their weight and their mass with them. So they're just the way they fuse it and form the principle. Okay, are you sir? Is there a, uh, the way we did these four movements, is there an equivalent in the sun style? Yeah, that's just it. That was that, that was it. That's I always worry, but what about the, all the other? Oh, you mean like all like this is single way, but it's the different names throughout. No, no, but just this one, this one, this one, and this one. Is there an equivalent? Uh -huh. That was it. That was it. Roll back. 
press here and push. Press with two hands and then push and step up. Yes, that's that. That's the whole posture. Okay. Is that anything you guys just did? The last two. Okay. The last two. Okay. Press when you got mine and then push. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the exact same thing, the exact same names, done differently. Articulated in a different fashion, but they want to use it totally different. That's all, that's all it is. You'll see sun style, I mean, a chin style or a wu style or house style. Again, those use the same names, but they're done differently. And we have one single whip. You've seen probably like this. Sun style is like this. Chin style is like this. So if it has the same name, it's the way they intend to use it. It's totally different. It's like, Making a, a formula in math. I want to build this formula to do this, but it's still the same basic principle. You have to learn addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, the op uh, order of operations. That doesn't change from the principle of how you want to apply using math. You know what I mean? All the principles are the same, but I may use it as a statistician, you may use it as a banker, or working in the register or the store. It doesn't matter, but it's the same principles that are, that are applied. Does that make sense? Are you big go?